Black Friday is this week and we've got to talk about the Black Friday ad from Walmart. There's some amazing deals here. So if you are going out on Black Friday and you are looking for some new games or maybe a new console, let's go ahead and go through this ad and see what we can get from Walmart on Black Friday. If you missed yesterday's video, go check that out. I did Target Black Friday deals, but this is Walmart Black Friday deals ad and we're going to go check out their Black Friday ad and see what video games games and game consoles are going to be on sale that hopefully you and I can save some money on. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up that ad and let's go ahead and go through it. First off on the home page, I don't see anything video game related. So we're going to go ahead and keep going through that. Hopefully we can find some good stuff. On the second page here, we see that there's going to be Xbox wireless controller deals. And it doesn't really say anything but check lowest price. So we're going to keep going there. Then we've got the God of War PlayStation 5 console bundle. $560. It looks like it's got the PlayStation 5, God of War Ragnarok, and a DualSense controller there. Um, Nintendo Switch for $300. That's normal here. Not the OLED, but it's just the regular version 2 Switch with Mario Kart 8. I feel like this has been a deal for like the past five years since the Switch came out. And uh, Nintendo, we need to see something more from you. And then they also have Xbox Series X, but no price is listed there. So that's a little iffy there. On the next page, we've got a bunch of PS5 games. The three games that are $35 are Gotham Knights, Madden 2023, and FIFA 2023. And Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 has no price. So uh, we'll just move ahead past that. Then we see the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition with God of War Ragnarok. The bundle for $460, a DualSense controller for $50. Zelda Breath of the Wild is actually cheap right now. It's going to be $30. This is definitely well worth it. And then you've got Death Stranding for the PS4 for $20. You've got WWE 2K22 for $30. $27. Then you got Ratchet and Clank for $35. You've got Mario Party Superstars for $29. Eh, whatever. Lego Star Wars for $35. And Nintendo All Stars Brawl, which is a Super Smash Brothers knockoff for $20 there. Moving on to some more games. It looks like this is going to be uh, some cheap games. We've got Hot Wheels Unleashed for $20. Tina Tiny Under Wonderlands, sorry about that, for $29. We've got another kart racing game, Nintendo, not Nintendo, Nickelodeon Kart Racers for $15. So if you're interested in that, maybe pick that up. Uh, Neo 2 for $20. Marvel's Avengers for 15, Elden Ring for 35. That actually might be worth picking up. I haven't decided yet. And Paw Patrol Grand Prix for $20. And again, talking about Microsoft Xbox wireless controllers, but no prices, which is a little bit of a bummer. I'd like to see something there. Then we've got the show for 22, the show 22 for 35. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy for 15, Battlefield 2042 for 29, Halo Infinite for 20, G Grand Theft Auto 5 for only $10 for the PlayStation 4. If you don't own this game already, you should pick it up here. That is an amazing deal. Uh, along with The Last of Us Remastered for only $15, well worth it. Horizon Forbidden West, the launch edition for the PS4. It looks like it's 35. I might need to pick that one up. I'm not sure yet. And they've got an Xbox Series S. But again, no prices on most of these consoles. It's kind of a bummer. I'd like to see those. We've got more games. Um, nothing really crazy here other than Sonic Frontiers. Came out two weeks ago. It looks like it's going to be $29, which is actually really cheap. And Link's Awakening for the Switch and Animal Crossing New Horizons are both going to be $29. $29 so pick those up if you're interested in those at all. And it looks like that actually might be the ad. And overall... I feel like this one wasn't all that great. There were a bunch of games that they just passed over or maybe they didn't even really talk about. And usually there's a lot more games from Walmart, so I don't know about that. 
And I'm a little disappointed that they did not have console prices other than the PlayStation 5 and the Switch, but hopefully we can get some more information on those Xbox Series S and X consoles. That way I can let you know whenever I find that out. But overall, there was some good deals. I mean, Zelda Breath of the Wild for only $30.00. Definitely well worth picking up. I haven't figured out where I'm going to buy this from, but when I do, it's going to stay sealed because I already have the copy. But I'm definitely interested to see what all uh, I'll find in the stores on Black Friday as well. If you like this video, go ahead and check out my other one from Target yesterday. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. I'm going to get out of here. I want to do some more research. I think I might do GameStop and maybe another Best Buy one here in the next day or two. I'm probably going to do one next tomorrow and then one after that. I'm going to get out of here, so check that video out. Peace.